adding pictures to your documents. In many cases, you have pictures, logos, thumbnails. Uh, please don't use huge pictures because uh, this will uh, only eat up your own uh, storage and your customers will not like to receive huge documents. So these pictures are stored in Salesforce, for instance, in files, attachments, or documents. Let's take a look at our account. Our account has a logo. And this logo we want to show on our document. Okay, how do we go about that? Let's take a look. First of all, we go to our data source. Uh, we go to our single data source that we already had because we want related to our account. We want actually to, re to get the, uh, the document. Okay, to get the picture. Okay, so we'll create a child data source. So from the related list here, just click the new one. It's going to be a picture list. So next, then let's call it data source demo picture. Our source is files in this case, the so-called we don't care about. The image name is logo. When using files, you can always use uh, something like a uh, percent here to uh, have if you have a longer name, but it should start with uh, with logo in our case, or the name must be exactly logo in our case. It's linked to our parent data source, which is the uh, uh, the opportunity that we want to select. And how do we know to which record it's actually attached? Well, we're going to use the value of the field account ID. So, okay. The value of the field account ID will indicate to which uh, record the logo is attached as a file. Save this setting. OK, now the data source is created. Let's go to our documents here. So let's take a look uh, from the single. We can add a child data source. It's going to be the picture. OK, look, we have that. And now we want to add this picture into our document at this position. Let's take a look here. Selection. OK, we have to call that with a placeholder, of course, as always. And we call it a logo account underscore logo, for instance. OK, I'm going to copy this one already. Save it. Close it. Okay, upload my document again because I made a change in the logo. Okay, see the document is there. Save to server. Okay, that's already saved. Now, of course, we have to use that logo and show it inside the, uh, the document. It's gonna be account logo. The type is gonna be picture. It knows immediately that there is only one picture data source, so it will select that one. We call it an account logo. Formatting, okay. We just want the height, the, the width to be fixed, and it will automatically scale the height. In this case, it's uh, the height and the width is exactly the same, so uh, the scaling will be uh, just fine. And let's save this to server. Saving is already done, all validations done. Let's take a look back at our opportunity. So car sales, I generate my document. And normally what we should see is a perfect yeah, is a perfect logo inside our documents. As you can see, the logo is here, so it all worked. We have now our picture data source. Our logo is printed inside the document. Okay, that was it.